Good morning, everybody. Hope you're doing well on this Saturday. Our men's group that meets on Monday morning read a book a while back titled Seven Great Men. It chronicled the lives of important men from the history of our country and really the world. So we had figures like George Washington, our first president, Jackie Robinson, a sports figure who broke the color barrier. Uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer, the uh, German theologian who spoke out against Hitler and Nazi Germany. And it sort of chronicled their stories of the obstacles they overcame, their perseverance, their convictions, and their faith. And it was uh, wonderful to take a peek into their lives and a little bit about what made them who they are. If I were to add another uh, man to that list, I would add my dad. And on this Father's Day weekend, um, I think it's appropriate to honor um, the men in our lives and specifically our fathers. So a dad who um, became a Christian the year I was born, uh, who worked hard as a police officer to provide for us as a family, who uh, took us to church and passed down the faith of Christ that helped me to be the person I am today. Dad who continues to pick up the tab when we go out to eat or go on vacation. So uh, tomorrow I'll be talking a little bit about fathers as uh, we gather for worship at 8 o'clock and 1030. So look forward to seeing you there or on one of our online platforms. So blessings on you and uh, be sure to give thanks for the important men in your lives. Uh, and if that includes your dad, uh, be sure to give him a call, send a card, or just uh, give thanks to God for him if he has been called home by God. Blessings on you, and we'll see you tomorrow.